Welcome to Mimi's Home and Garden. I thought I'd share with you how I cook Boston Butt in the slow cooker. This is a delicious way to use up a very inexpensive cut of meat and it takes about 10 hours but it is so delicious. So my local food line had these on sale this week for 99 cents a pound and just look at that savings I got on this. $12.61 off of this delicious Boston Butt. So if you ever see these on sale, don't be intimidated by it. Go ahead and buy one, and I'll show you how easy they are to cook. So basically, I have my Boston butt, which is a portion of meat that comes from the pork shoulder. It is very marbleized with fat, and it has a bone in it, but it is very delicious when slow cooked. So I've got my slow cooker, and I'm going to mix up a rub and then I put that rub all over the Boston butt and then I'm going to place it in the crock pot. So the ingredients for my rub is one cup of white sugar and then I'm going to add in one cup of brown sugar. Then you need some kosher salt, some black pepper, and then the secret ingredient that I like to add is one whole container of smoked paprika. Now you certainly could use some garlic powder or onion powder or you know different spices that you may like. This is just what I like to do and it seems to work out great. So I get all my ingredients in a large bowl and there'll be a little bit left over but I want to make sure I really cover this whole Boston butt with that rub. So there in goes the brown sugar. And now I'm going to add in one half cup of kosher salt. I like kosher salt. It's just a good taste to me. And then I'm going to add in a fourth a cup of black pepper. and then one whole container of smoked paprika. Now you could use regular paprika, but I'm telling you the smoked paprika gives this pork a really smoky, like it's been cooked in a smoker taste. Now my son Joey makes the best um, barbecue from Boston Butts on his um, smoker that he has. Oh, he does a great job with it. And while that's good and and it tastes wonderful this is for those of us that don't have the smoker and we can just cook this right in our own home in the kitchen in the crock pot granted it's not as good as joey's is and if you'd like for me to do a video with joey showing how he cooks his boston butts on a smoker leave a comment below and hopefully if he's watching He'll get the idea and invite me over next time he's doing one and I'll film it for us. So there is the Boston butt that I've purchased. I'm just going to cut it open and lay it in the crock pot. And then we're going to start rubbing in this rub. And I stir the rub all um, together in that mixing bowl. You can see everything's been mixed together. See how easy that is just dumping it right in the crock pot and then I'm going to just spoon the rub over it and pat it down into the meat. Now I want to cover every section of meat. So I'm sprinkling it on and then patting it down, rubbing it in and I'm going to go over every single piece of this meat. The back, the sides, the front, I'm just really coating it and um, it takes a lot but I'm telling you, it gives it such a good flavor. And this is the basic process. is just mixing that rub together and then rubbing it into the meat. And then you just let your slow cooker do the rest. Now, once I've coated all the sides, I'm just going to add a half a cup of water just to the bottom of the crock pot. This this pork roast is going to make a lot of juice, but I always just like to add a little bit of water in the bottom to get it going. Then I 
put the lid on and we're going to cook this on low for 10 hours. Now I usually check it in about eight hours um, just to see how it's how it's cooking. And here is a picture of it at eight hours and when I do my fork test, the fork is kind of tight in there so I know it's not quite done. I want it falling off the bone. So after 10 hours, you'll see as I'm taking it out of the crock pot how it has just cooked down to a nice tender piece of meat and I can barely get it out of the crock pot. There we go. So I'll just put it on a big pan and then I'll start shredding it. And watch how this just falls off the bone. That's what you want right there. And then it's full of liquid that came from the pork butt. And that liquid has got all of those spices in it and just really gets into the meat. It's so delicious. So I just pull all of the meat out of the crock pot and then we're gonna start shredding. Okay, once I get it all on a pan, I just take two forks and start shredding it. I'm just pulling it away from the um, bone and the fat pieces and just shredding it with a fork. And that's why I like to use this big pan. It kind of holds everything in place. Now you could add some of that liquid that we had left over in the crock pot to this. Um, it was so delicious I didn't even add anything to it. For supper tonight we, we ate it just like this and it was so good. Now I take my chopper and I'm going to go back over it and just kind of chop it up even finer. Now this also freezes well so if you wanted to fill up some quart bags and put it in the freezer you could have this for a meal later. I have pressure canned this before and that is very good and it makes a lot. One Boston butt makes a lot of barbecue. Now for dinner tonight we're just going to eat it loose like this and then for dinner the second night I'm going to be having barbecue sandwiches. So for dinner tonight, we just had some shredded barbecue with green beans, corn, and fried squash, and I even made some cornbread. It was so good. And for another meal idea, I take my favorite vinegar-based barbecue sauce, George's, and I just add it to the chopped meat. It gives it a really good barbecue tangy taste. And then we're going to have barbecue sandwiches with this. So there's so many things you can do with the Boston butt. Delicious meat at a very good price. So I hope you'll give this a try. If you do, please let me know in the comments below what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Please don't forget to like and share this video with others. And as always, I hope you all have a very blessed day.